Hey guys, today I will show you how to make your own fixer. It all started with the genius mind of Joseph Nipce, who solved the mystery of fixing the image by using sodium chloride. Yeah, you heard me right, all he used was table salt. Today we could do just that, but uh, table salt fixer is very inconvenient to use since it takes uh, almost one to two days to fix the image permanently. Because of that, photography pioneers have experimented even further and uh, they figured out that sodium thiosulfate, also known as hypo, fixes the image much more efficiently, so it became the main fixing agent for many years until they started using ammonium thiosulfate, which can be found in uh, any modern rapid fixer. Before we jump in, let's take a look at the recipe. I usually go and search for the best offers on eBay and there's usually quite a few options which are much more affordable than the lab tested chemicals. If this is not an option for you, I strongly recommend you to check out your local store that either sells aquariums or spine and valence accessories as sodium thiosulfate is very often used as a chloride neutralizer in tap water. What equipment do you need? A uh, one liter measuring cup, precise scale, mixing rod, or a magnetic stirrer like this, thermometer, some protection gloves, and a storage container. Before we start, put some gloves on to protect yourself from chemicals. Okay, so now you can take your measuring cup and uh, fill it up with 750 milliliters of warm water. Ideally, it should be at around 125 degrees Fahrenheit or 52 degrees Celsius, so that the sodium thiosulfite will uh, dissolve much faster. You can help yourself by uh, using a stove or a heater of some sort and of course a thermometer but uh, I will just be using uh, straight tap water today which should be just warm enough um, yeah I'm just gonna let it flow first for a bit so it gets hot and uh, now I will um, fill it up to 750 milliliters like I said okay this is just a bit more there you go. Now one more thing, if uh, your tap water has a lot of chlorine and maybe some other additives, I uh, strongly recommend you to use distilled water instead. So yeah, now that we have our warm water ready, we can uh, start mixing in the chemicals. I will put the cup with water on top of the mixer, put the magnet in and turn the mixer on. And then I will proceed adding 240 grams of sodium thiosulfate. I have mine in powder form like this, which is quite unusual because most of the time you will get it in uh, bigger granules or you can also call them crystals like this that uh, look like uh, transparent rice. When it's completely dissolved the solution will become uh, completely clear as you will see. Okay, after adding sodium thiosulfite, the solution now became completely clear once again. So we can proceed by adding sodium sulfite. I'm adding 50 grams of it. I have now added all in and uh, we will let it mix for a bit now. And then we're gonna top it off until we reach one liter of solution. Adding sodium sulfate is not absolutely necessary, but it's gonna help to preserve the solution and uh, make it last longer. Okay, now also sodium sulfate is mixed in, so I'm gonna turn the mixer off. And uh, I'm gonna add uh, tap water or distilled water, whatever you're using, to reach one liter of solution. Okay, great. Now I turn the mixer back on for around a minute or so. And then we're gonna pour this uh, fixer we just made into the in our storage container. Since I will be testing this fixer today with some dry plates, I could also add in some chrome alum and uh, make a so-called hardening fixer. But zebra dry plates are resilient enough to withstand any fixer formula out there.
There you go guys, our fixer is now uh, finished, almost ready for use. We just need to cool it down for a bit first. So I'm gonna chuck it in the fridge for an hour or so and uh, catch you guys then. I will be developing and fixing a positive image on a glass dry plate that I made by uh, contact printing zebra dry plate negative to a unexposed zebra dry plate by using an enlarger as my source of light. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in this kind of process as I'm already thinking about uh, making a more detailed video about it. I developed the exposed plate as usual in Kodak HC110, washed it with water for a minute. One more thing guys, this fixer is used just like it is without any further dilution with water. Fixed it in the fixer we just made for 12 minutes until all the unexposed silver highlights were completely removed and uh, then washed it for another 10 minutes. Because we added sodium sulfate, this fixer will be good for up to 6 weeks if stored properly, that means in a fridge and also in a brown bottle if you can. You're gonna be able to fix about 20 to 25 decent prints with it before it gets exhausted. As you saw the fixer works great and uh, this positive image on glass always leaves me speechless. Based on my calculations, making a plain and simple fixer by only using sodium thiosulfate and sodium sulfate, the price compared to the fixer you can buy in the store is quite similar. Of course, this all depends on where you buy the chemicals and in what quantities. This homemade sodium thiosulfate fixer is uh, working very good, but if you compare it to commercially available rapid fixers that are based on ammonium thiosulfate, they are an absolute winners when it comes to efficiency and speed. So it's really up to you, maybe you're living in a country where darkroom chemicals are hard to get or you're just like me when you always prefer the homemade stuff or the ones you can buy in stores. For me analog photography is a craft based on one's ability to learn and to combine all that knowledge in order to achieve the desired goal. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful please don't forget to press that like button and uh, if you have any questions or any experiences to share please leave them down in the comment section below. I would also warmly invite you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future content. We just passed 3000 subscribers which is truly insane and uh, I would really like to thank each and every one of you for that. That's it, I wish everybody to stay safe and uh, catch you guys in the next one, bye!